Okay, my couture crafters, let's get into this video. This first portion is just going to show you what we're making kind of in depth. We're going to do a walkthrough of this album. I'm going to tell you the timestamp below so that you can skip forward so that you can find out how to put this album together. So I believe all albums should have a box, even though this is just a mini, mini, mini album. I still think it should have a cute little box. It gives it a nice presentation. And you can give this as a gift to someone. And you know, I love a finished box. And so here you can see, I took my Disneyland wristband and glued it on the inside of the box. And then we have some nice lined pattern papers. The lid is lined also. There is nothing better than a finished box. I think it's so beautiful. So on the front, you see me and Tiffy. That's Tiffy Starchild. She's super popular <laughs> over on TikTok and Instagram and all the things. And I'm happy to be able to call her my friend. And we went to a uh, after dark Disney um, extravaganza kind of thing. And so I just wanted to do a really quick album to give her. And I just wanted something quick. And I was like, geez, these are great for when you and your family run Disneyland or run to an event and you just want to um, scrap it. You, you definitely want to put it down. You, you just want to do something with your pictures. This is the perfect album for just a quick day at the parks. You can make this album larger. Um, I don't know how many pictures technically it holds, but I had five four by sixes, and I think I did 15 of those um, two by threes. I don't love the two by three size, they're really difficult to see, but a sprocket is cute and fun. So here we are, we're gonna get into the tutorial. It's an 80s theme, so I printed some 80s themed paper off Etsy. I will drop the, the seller down below. What you'll need are some envelopes. I used four, and those came from Hobby Lobby. I used the Paper Studio. These measure five by seven. So as you can see, the envelope is open and the flap is up top. And I'm using these Euro envelopes. You can do this with any kind of envelope. It really doesn't matter what the flap looks like. A lot of people like these with the deeper flap because it goes a little deeper. You'll see how we attach them. I'm only using four envelopes, guys. This is an album that you can totally do with a ruler, some scissors, I'm using my paper trimmer because I have one. I'm a paper crafter, but if you're not, do not be intimidated. You can totally take some scissors and just draw a line and then cut down the line. So here I'm showing you that I'm cutting off 1 16th of this envelope. I'm basically just cutting off the part that closes it at the bottom. As you can tell, the envelopes that I'm cutting, I'm cutting off the bottom. And I'm showing you just the 16th line. I never want people to be intimidated by where, what? I'm just cutting off a tad bit. You can cut off more if you want. Just make sure that all your envelopes are the same size. So here I'm cutting off a 16th off of all four. It just helps to keep the album kind of consistent on the ends. All right. Four envelopes, that's all I'm using. I'm making a whole album out of four envelopes, which is so freaking cool to me. So here I tucked the flip the flap in so it's inside now you can see this is open and i'm folding it backward onto itself so that um the first one i took the flap and i tucked it in and now we're going to stick some glue on the part that you lick you can kind of see that it's shiny at the top this is the licking side and you don't need to put the glue all the way to where the flap meets the actual envelope. You see how I kept it kind of far out? Do that so that it gives your album a little, a little um, space to breathe. So now we're gonna open this up. Remember, the other side is open too, not a big deal. It's not gonna go all the way through. And you're just gonna reach around the other side and wiggle it. This glue dries super fast, so hopefully you have some glue that dries a little bit slower. And just wiggle it until it's in there and then fold it down on itself and just press it. Just make sure that it's lined up. Now we have two envelopes glued together. Don't be worried about the, um, the sides there. You can close those up with glue if you want, but I'll show you what we're gonna do with that later. So yeah, 
nice and simple and then I play with it a little bit because that's fun. Now we're going to take the next envelope and I folded it back on itself again. This again is the side that you lick and now I'm putting glue on the side that you lick, drawing a line, not all the way down, give it some space to breathe. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open that up and stick it in there. So now you see we have an open envelope on the left and a full solid one on the right. So we're just going to fidget with it a little bit until it gets all the way down in there. And there we are. And then we're just going to close it to make sure that it's lined up nicely. And then we're just going to burnish it with our hands, and which just means we're going to smooth it out. This You can really do this any kind of way you want. Envelope albums have been around forever. This is just an, uh, a newer spin, I guess, on an old technique. So now we have the very last envelope. And we want to make sure that this envelope, the smooth side, is on the back, see? So that we finish it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the glue and we're going to put it on the opposite side that you lick. So this is just a regular envelope. If you were to fold it, we're going to put glue on that side. Now, of course, you could add more. And if you wanted to add more um, envelope flaps, do it on the licky side. This is the very last one. The last one you do, you put it on the outside. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Just slide that puppy in and pull it down in there. And voila, we have just built an entire album in six minutes, maybe less. And burnish it down, and there we go. And look at how nice and clean that is. That's what I'm talking about. Now you have to figure out which direction you want your album to go. So if we flip it open this way, this is the last one we did, so those are the last pages. And I'm like, what? What did I just do? Did I flip it upside down? It works either way. You just have to figure out what layout you want. And I'm looking at it, and I'm going, I think I want it the other way. So watch, I'm going to turn it around in a second. Bam. And now when you flip it up, you have an open pocket on the left, solid on the right. And that's what I'm looking for. Open on the left, solid on the right, open, open. And that's it. That's the end of it because it's only four envelopes. Love this. Again, this is for those trips when you just want to go with your friends or your family and you want to pay attention to the park. You don't want to be trying to get 20 million pictures of stuff. That's just doing too much. Grab one in the beginning. Grab one at the end. Grab one of your food. Maybe with a character and call it a day, guys. So now I'm looking at how I want to decorate this album. Again, this was an 80s themed party. So of course I printed out 80s themed paper on my Canon. If you wanna see a review on that, there is a review here on my channel. I love that printer. I don't have issues with that printer. People say that they do. I don't know what to tell them because I just don't and I love that printer. So the envelopes measure four and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So I cut down all my sheets well, you know, I cut down the envelope. I took a 16th off of that. So I think I cut mine at like four and three quarters by maybe six and three quarters, something like that. Just figure out what you guys want to cut that at. This is how you close it. You see, I just closed that flap because I don't need it for this one. And I'm just throwing some glue on the back of these cards. You just need to measure it with your ruler and figure out how much space you want around it. Not a big deal. Just make them all the same or different. Do your own thing. But putting cardstock on these envelopes makes them so much more sturdy. And that's heavyweight cardstock. Here, I have cut a piece of paper 7 by 10. The paper is 7 by 10. And you see, I just slipped it in the hole that's there. What? Look at that. It's like magic. Now I'm just going to put glue on the back side of the left one, open it up, and slide it in. You can leave them so that they slide out. You can turn them into booklets. You do whatever you want to do. But for me, I'm just trying to keep this album super simple. I should have put glue on the inside panel, not the outside panel. 
I figure it out afterwards. But if you're going to do the same thing as I do, put that on the front because the back is open and there's going to be glue back there. See, look, glue. It didn't freak me out. I just took the paper and glued it down immediately. Not a big deal, but be careful because that could go very badly. Don't you just love this 80s paper? It's so saved by the bell. And I'm not using those pockets. Some people leave those pockets open. For now, I'm just using the two pockets right here on the gay fold side. So again, I took some paper, folded it in half. It was 10 by 7 and just slipped it in there. And now I'm gluing this back. And bam, there we go. I knew I wanted this purple on the inside with the cassette tapes because cassette tapes were all the rage in the 80s. Tell me, did you guys have a mixtape? Did somebody make you a mixtape? <laughs> so throw that um, glue on the back. And from here on out, this is pretty much just going to be me decorating the album. Once you put those flaps in right there, you have pretty much built your own album. And you can decorate it however your mind sees fit. I do show you how to make a pocket at some point. I'll timestamp that too. And here I'm just kind of looking at these papers. I think I cut them at... Maybe I cut them down to like seven by five, something like that. And I was like, eh, it just wasn't giving me the, the look that I was going for. It was a little bit larger than I wanted it to be. So I cut them down a little bit more. Again, just kind of feel your way around the album. You might want to make it the full size. You might want to have a little white border. You see how all my pages have a small white border around? That's because I cut it probably about a quarter less than the whatever the width is. There we go. This paper, I just, I'm telling you guys, I love my printer. That paper feels like velvet. So I ran out of paper because I didn't print anymore. And so I decided to go grab some cheap, this is that cheap Michaels paper, that paper that you get in those stacks. And I grabbed some pink and blue for what I call photo mats. And a photo mat is simply just a mat to put your photo on. So I have two sizes of pictures. I have four by sixes and I have two by threes. I cut the mat a quarter inch larger than both. So I'm doing two and a quarter and three and a quarter and four and a quarter and six and a quarter. I know you can't see the top of this um, trimmer. I'm usually in frame, but I decided to zoom in for this one. And now I know that doesn't work all that great. So when I think of 80s, I think triangles. So to make it cohesive, I am putting everything in an angle, which creates little triangles, which kind of gives it some continuity throughout the album. So you just put your, I put my photo mat askew, and then the picture is actually on there straight, and it's kind of cool. I hate covering up paper. That's why I never finish my albums. I'm like, I want to see the paper. I could do an album with just paper and be completely satisfied with that so again at this point you're just kind of watching me um, mat this and play with it and see how I put these pictures of me and Tiffy in there and I printed my four by sixes on my printer too with Canon photo quality uh, paper they, they came like with the printer and I loved it like four by six is my jam those two by threes, I think if I were doing this again, which I probably will be doing very soon, I would rather do three by threes, something a little bit bigger. They have a couple different sizes. They have five by fives in there, five by sevens. I really want to do a slimline version of this album, which I might knock out in the next couple of months. We'll see. But if you want to continue watching me mat this sucker, keep going. If not, mosey on over to how to make the box again i'm going to put a timestamp in the bottom so that you can see how i make a pocket um, for the back and then of course i throw a really neat tag whenever i do pockets i like my tags to be like shaped and so here we go this very last page oh no i'm doing the two by three mats now sorry just kidding two by three mats and I used um, my sprocket which is a little bitty photo printer to print this out and they prints out on sticky paper so I just peeled it off and stuck it down 
Didn't even use my glue. Pocket time. So I had an extra photo mat. So I cut this down to five and a half by three and a quarter. I knew that I wanted my pocket to be kind of short. So I made it three and a quarter. So again, it's five and a half by three and a quarter. Now the next tool that I'm gonna use is a square board. If you do not have a square board, use a ruler and like a, a pen that no longer has any ink coming out of it or a, style, a pen with a stylus on it. And basically this is just to help you fold your paper. So I am doing a quarter inch score mark. You're gonna score the paper so it's easier to fold it on both of the short sides and one long side. And again, I'm just doing a quarter inch. So if I cut that at three and a quarter, I'm scoring at three. If I cut it at five and a half, I'm taking one quarter off of there, so five and a quarter, and then I'm flipping it around and doing the same thing. Now you're gonna take your scissors and cut at a diagonal angle, cut the cross right out, bam. And do it again, you're gonna cut right that diagonal angle, cut it. Now when you fold your paper, there's gonna be a dent on one side and a bumpy on the other side. You wanna fold your paper toward the bump. So the dented side is gonna be up towards you. That's the proper way to score, which is supposed to alleviate giving you cracks and give you the most accurate fold. And see, I'm just folding on those little tabs. And now, there's, the, well, there's our little pocket. Now we're gonna put some glue on that tab. Apparently I wanna look at it and play with it for a little bit. It's been so long since I've paper crafted. I forget how much I love it. And this album made me feel all warm and gooey inside. It really takes you back to the moment and that's pretty freaking awesome. So I'm just going to, this is where the pocket's gonna go. And we're just put a little glue on the outsides there. And then just stick it down. Make sure you don't put too much glue. You don't want to glue your pocket shut. And if you're scared you did put too much glue in there, put something on the inside and keep going back and forth until it doesn't stick. And now I'm going to do a little mat on the front. When I want to do a mat, I usually cut it down about a quarter of an inch less. So if that pocket finished at five by three, I cut, cut the paper down to four and three quarters by uh, two and three quarters. And that way you see a nice little blue border around it. And then I deciding to take that little bitty picture and in person you can see that that is the, it's a small world all lit up. And here I am, I made my Cricut draw lines on a piece of paper so that I could put it on the back of the cassette which I made with vinyl. So I cut out a, basically a big vinyl sticker and put it on some cardstock and then took another piece of cardstock and flipped it and made the Cricut cut line so that I could write a nice love note to Tiffy and tell her I love her. I am so impressed with these, these stamps, guys. They say made in China, which I don't love. I prefer made in the USA stamps. However, these stamps totally rocked. They did exactly what I needed them to do. They performed. And they're such a great set. I'm actually trying to find out what other sets they have because I swear I paid like seven bucks for that and that is unheard of in the stamp world. Most of my stamp sets cost me about 20 bucks a pop. So the fact that these are so affordable and they're high quality polymer, they're not that plastic poop, love it. I'm using VersaFine Clear Ink and I decided to keep these super simple. So basically just black, black ink, nothing else. I'm not coloring. All I'm doing is taking these images and stamping them out. And after I stamp them out, I'm gonna use the coordinating dies with a die cutting machine and cut them out. You can cut them out by hand, it's not that serious. And there they are to the left, a ton of die cuts. And that there is a sticker by a company called Penless, P-E-N-L-E-S-S, P as in Paul, E-N-L-E-S-S. -S. And what they let you do is create your own QR code so that you can add a video and they can, um, 
you can put that on gift tags or whatever you want to do cards and you can send a video once they scan it just another way to make your album interactive you know my albums always got a little tricky something in there you never know what you're gonna get with my albums and these stickers are just so cool um, can you imagine getting a gift from your grandchild or somebody with a little video that you get to scan so much fun all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me while i decorate this album check out the box video thanks